Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my 10 favorite lipsticks of all time, like my world's best lipsticks and I thought this would just be a fun random video to share with you guys. I feel like I'm always wearing a different lipstick so it's hard for me to narrow down like my 10 favorite that I would choose over any other in the whole world but in this little pink bag I have all of my favorite lipsticks. I'm going to be doing lip swatches and hand swatches and all that good stuff but before we start I just want to say we did get a new puppy. She's in she's in the other room with Marcus right now sleeping so I didn't want to bother her but I will bring her in here by the end of the video so you guys can see her if you don't follow me and Marcus's channel or you don't follow me on social media because she is the cutest sweetest little puppy ever her name is honeybee um so yeah I just want to do address that really quick because I know I'll be getting a lot of questions about her I feel like I should start more on the nude side and then go to the brighter ones because for this video I wanted to kind of give a good range of colors like I didn't just want to pick all of my favorite mauve shades of lipstick because you guys know that's my favorite type of lipstick but um, I have a very good mixture of everything I'll start with this one because this one is probably going to be the most controversial <laughs> at least it is in my head because I just got this very recently and it's like how can you say that this is one of your favorite lipsticks of all time when you only had it for a few weeks but you just you just kind of know and this is the type of color I have been on the search for forever I feel like this shade like this is my perfect shade anyway this is the Too Faced lipstick in Sunday Fun Day it has very beautiful packaging and then it looks like this it's a lighter nude than I'm used to but it just looks so pretty on the lips that's what I'm wearing today um, over a darker lip liner and the reason that this one got put in my top 10 favorite lipsticks of all time is because the shade mixed with the formula and the smell the packaging everything all just adds up like I took all of those things into account with all of my lipsticks so everything about it is just perfect I know I'm gonna be going through this and then I'm gonna have to buy another and another and another and that's when you know that you love a lipstick um, I've been wearing this pretty much every single day since I got it and it's just beautiful and another reason why it's beautiful to me is because Marcus even said wow that's one of my favorite lip colors that you've ever worn and he never compliments my makeup usually like because I usually wear the same makeup every day um and then he complimented me on this and I was like wow that is a special one okay so moving on to another lighter color this one is by Revlon I don't think I've ever mentioned this lipstick on my channel before but I wear it a ton this is actually my second tube of it and this is the number 672 Brazilian tan I feel like these are the best lipsticks at the drugstore here is what this shade looks like it's a little bit more warm toned than Sunday fun day they do look very similar but this one has kind of more of a yellowy base I feel like and this one of course is way more affordable than the Too Faced one. I also sometimes like pairing this one with a darker lip liner and it just gives, at least for my skin tone, it's like the perfect nude shade. So I've been using this shade since like high school and I just had to put it in here because it really is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. Okay, the next lipstick that I wanted to mention is from MAC. This is the cream sheen in the color cream in your coffee if you've been watching my channel for a while you would have already guessed that this would be in my top 10 favorites i actually used this in the first makeup tutorial i ever posted on youtube and sometimes i watch that video and i just cringe so much and then i think about deleting it but i can't because of the memories but yeah i wouldn't recommend going back and watching that tutorial anyway i was using this shade in that video and i have loved this shade forever you can see that i've used so much of it and i think this is my third or fourth tube of it it's just a beautiful mauve shade but i think it's more than that i think it kind of has berry undertones and then the formula of it also is very hydrating it makes your lips just look super smooth i've also gotten a ton of comments from you guys saying that you have bought this lipstick because of how many times i've talked about it and then you love it too so this is just one of the best everyday every night lipsticks ever <laughs> this is the melted matte liquid lipstick in the shade sellout I love Too Faced's liquid lipsticks. 
I feel like they actually make my lips look way bigger when I have them on. It's so weird because you wouldn't think that liquid lipsticks have any plumping properties, but I really feel like these do. This lipstick, actually, I get so many comments on when I'm in public of people asking me what lipstick I'm wearing. I don't know why, I just always remember this shade. I've been asked like a million times. Just another great everyday one that will actually stay on your lips a really long time. The other three that I mentioned, you have to kind of reapply throughout the day. Okay, this next shade is my last nudie color, so don't worry. Um, but this is Kat Von D's Lolita Liquid Lipstick. You know what? I feel like the reason this has such a cult following behind it, like when it first came out, it was sold out 24-7, is because it really is the perfect 90s mauve nude brown color and the formula of these liquid lipsticks is incredible so long lasting not drying on me at least and just really really stays on your lips so well next up i have a shade from ColourPop that i actually got recently i think i got this about a month ago this is the ultra satin lip and i think this was a collaboration with somebody but i can't really tell um, and this is in the shade Mrs. But this shade is very unique to me at least because it's a very warm toned pinky color. Like it's almost like a very muted coral color. Um, but it's just super wearable. It just looks so beautiful on. ColourPop, as you guys probably know, is super affordable, which I love about them. And their ultra satin lips are amazing. Maybe it's called Mrs. because it's a good wedding day color. I feel like this is a good wedding day color. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the deeper colors, like in the more brighter colors. This one is the Tarte Lip Paint in the shade Front Row. I really like the applicator of this because it has that little dip in it, and I feel like it's just really easy to apply on your lips. These are actually a little bit more drying on me, the Tarte ones, but they stay on really well. And I mean, this shade is just beautiful. And I feel like this is the perfect fall color. It just looks so good on. And it's like a rich, warm, rosy color. That's how I would describe it. I don't know. I'm not very good at describing colors. But that's how I would describe this one. The next one, I absolutely love this color so much. I wear this all the time. This is Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 22 and I also have the lip liner that I pair it with. The shade 22 is a deep, deep orange red. This is what the applicator looks like. I really like Kylie's applicators. They're so soft and like fluffy. They just feel very good going on the lips. And her lip liners are even better than her lipsticks. You can tell I've used this one so much. It's actually, I really need to sharpen that. You guys might be like, ooh, I don't know about an orange lipstick because I know a lot of people are, are kind of scared of orange lipsticks. But this one is so beautiful and it's very, very wearable. Okay, so this is the Bite High Pigment lip pencil in the shade Bramble. And I actually bought my mom this color for Mother's Day and then I loved it so much that I was like, I have to get that myself. So this is a really pretty deep berry color. You have to be very careful when applying them because they are so pigmented, but it's nice because you do get that point of the pencil, which is um, helpful when you're applying it. I had to show you my favorite red. This is the Smashbox liquid lipstick in the shade Boss. And this shade makes your teeth look so white because it has those blue undertones in it. It's very like moussey and it doesn't make your lips feel dry at all. And I just love this shade of red. It's so pretty. It lasts on your lips. It doesn't get on your teeth. So many of my red lipsticks get on my teeth right away and I haven't had that problem with this one. Okay guys, those were, <laughs> she's already popping up. I wanted to surprise you guys. But those were my top 10 favorite lipsticks of all time. Let me know if you guys have any overlaps, like if any of those were your favorites. But before I go, I wanted to show you guys Little Miss. This is Honeybee and she is so tiny and adorable. Camper is actually right down here with me as well. Um, but I had to show you guys her before I left. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every single week. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you very soon. Bye!
Say bye.